It's a disease that's making headlines, a rare polio-like illness that affects your nervous system. And while it mostly affects young children, all three confirmed cases of acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, in Montana are in adults. MTN Samantha Sullivan introduces us to a Billings woman now fighting to take back her life. Imagine you go to the doctor with what you believe to be a common cold. Fast forward seven months and you're here, living in a nursing home, relearning to walk, going through intensive physical therapy for hours every day because your limbs just stopped working and doctors can't tell you why. They say like God only gives you what you can handle. That's for sure. Sometimes I just feel like giving up. But I'm like, no, I can't give up. So I'm gonna be able to go back to my apartment, you know? Go back to my old life. April Martin was admitted to the hospital in early August after what first seemed like a cold or the flu just continued to get worse. After a full night in the ER, April's mom, Tony, went home to get some rest. When she got back the next morning, she was horrified. To me, it looked like she had had a stroke. Um, her head was laying over to the side and she couldn't open her eyes and her speech was slurred. With her speech slurred, she said, what's wrong with my body? And I said, I don't know. And she said, don't leave me, mom. And I said, I'm not gonna leave you. And uh, so I didn't. April had already been through a lot in her 32 years. She was diagnosed with diabetes at the age of two. She beat cancer at 27. Now she was getting a tracheotomy. She was put on a ventilator and was given a feeding tube to help doctors regulate her blood sugar. But despite numerous tests, doctors were not sure what was happening to April. Why can't they tell me what's wrong? Why can't they have a diagnosis? A disease not seen in Montana since 2015, now believed to be back this time in the south central part of the state. I had not seen the news about this polio-like virus called acute flaccid myelitis. Nationwide health experts are keeping an eye on the polio-like illness that has left dozens sick across the nation. Instantly when I watched that, I knew right then, that's what my daughter has. It's AFM. AFM is a virus-fueled neurological condition. It affects the spinal cord's gray matter and can cause paralysis. But it would be seven long months before that positive diagnosis was made. I would show them videos. This is it. Do you see this? You got to try this. This is what we need to do. And I'm trying to educate everybody as I'm trying to learn everything too at the same time because I want the best help for her. Doctors are still unsure what exactly causes it. In the last year, there were just over 150 confirmed cases. The chances of getting AFM, just one in one million. It sucks. <laughs> because you're trying to explain to them what it is, and they're like, what? Yeah, they don't know. What is it? It's hard. April was eventually moved out of the hospital to advanced care and finally, at the end of October, to Aspen Meadows Nursing Home. There, she receives around-the-clock care and both physical and occupational therapy. I would say you just started walking, what, in the last month? Yeah. Tony says it's been a long road, but she hopes April's story will help families in the future. In Billings, Samantha Sullivan, MTN News. Well, Tony says the next battle in April's journey will be next month. That's when insurance will stop covering her care at the nursing home. Tony has set up a GoFundMe page to help with the costs of nursing care and April's physical therapy.